Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, Chris Perillo here with two hands on the wheel and four eyes on the road pulling out of a parking lot right now. Today is the launch of iPad 2. I've got a friend of mine holding a place in line, a very short line here uh, in the Seattle area. I'm not going to disclose my location, of course. You can probably figure out where it's at. Either way, a few people are already in line, uh, T-minus four hours and counting. I'm not going to be at an Apple store, though. I figured the line would be horrendous there, even if it happens to be uh, in an indoor area. Uh, there are three Apple stores that I know of here in the Seattle area. I'm avoiding them all today. Why not? Uh, yes, I am getting the iPad 2, selling my other two iPads, a Wi-Fi and a Wi-Fi 3G, and actually getting a pretty good price for them. Pretty much uh, enough to cover uh, the purchase of a new uh, iPad. I'm also uh, going to be going with the uh, Wi-Fi 3G version, uh, if only uh, for the GPS option. Uh, I'm also going to be uh, getting one of the uh, smart covers, likely a, a black one, just like a, a black iPad. I'm not really much on, on white uh, devices, personally. That's my choice. I don't know how many of you are also getting iPads, but I can tell you this. Two friends of mine, uh, who very much dislike Apple, are getting iPads. One of whom you know very well. I'm not going to disclose his name at this point in time. Suffice it to say, you will be shocked to find out that he is getting an iPad because he will more than likely be uploading a video to his YouTube channel at some point in the near future. Someone you never would have expected uh, would get or even want an iPad. So right now you would ask, why am I abandoning my friend? Uh, well, even if it's raining outside, luckily we do have some, uh, uh, I guess, cover over us uh, where they're having line form. Uh, but I'm going to get some coffee uh, to help, you know, uh, the weight. Uh, and I'm also going to run home to get a jacket since I let her borrow uh, my jacket so that I can go home to get my, my own other jacket. My own, I guess, they're both my jackets. Either way, I want to try to stay warm uh, and stay entertained. And I figured, well, uh, I could record myself in the line, but I don't want to annoy the people in line today. I uh, just wanted to say that uh, you can stay tuned tonight. I will be unboxing uh, the iPad 2 live. It uh, will likely be at some point not long after the 5 o'clock hour uh, Pacific time. Uh, so live.perlo.com is what you want to tune in for that. Tune in now and watch my desk, at least for the time being, until I get home. Uh, and, uh, you know, let's see here, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, I'm also going to do other uh, videos, likely tonight, not long after the unboxing live. Um, I'm also going to do a comparison of uh, the iPad 2 and the iPad 1. And I, I'm also going to give a, a separate video on my initial impressions after, you know, going through uh, these uh, initial experiences. And then, even though it won't be as easy to, to watch, I'm also going to record uh, the iPhone 4 camera versus iPad 2 camera. Uh, and I believe that uh, that's going to turn out with the advantage being the iPhone, given that the uh, uh, iPad camera is not amazing. By the way, I uh, happened to, to post on my blog at chris.perillo.com the other day uh, seven reasons why uh, the iPad 2 camera sucks and why it doesn't really matter that the uh, camera quality sucks. Um, there, I could give you a brief synopsis. Point one, how many times have you ever complained that, and I'm not trying to draw a direct comparison between an iPad and a, a netbook or a notebook, but some people are inclined to do that. How many times have you ever complained about the quality of a webcam uh, video? How many times? I mean, yeah, they could be better, certainly, but that doesn't keep people from buying uh, the devices themselves. Uh, not to mention, if it does happen to support the same uh, camera hardware as the iPod Touch, which hasn't been amazing in terms of uh, image quality, that still has not curbed uh, the uh, actual proliferation of iPod Touches in the marketplace. So I, I think uh, Apple's giving itself uh, you know, a, a, one more reason to upgrade to iPad 3, uh, but I don't think the quality of the camera it really matters all that much in terms of uh, what the iPad 2 uh, is uh, you know, really offering the marketplace. So uh, it's nice to also see that so many of you are picking up uh, the, uh, I guess, the initial release of the iPad, the iPad 1, for all intents and purposes. Uh, pretty good price, $400, brand new. Uh, I'd say good on Apple for doing that. Even at $400, previous generation, it's still a good tablet that competes very well in uh, this growing marketplace of uh, tablet computers. And for all intents and purposes, again, not to 
use that phrase a second time in the same video. Uh, I, I think uh, you know a lot of people really want to buy bats, even if you don't like Apple. So uh, stay tuned for the unboxing and initial iPad 2 videos. Um, and uh, also uh, let me know, are, are you also getting an iPad? Are you in line watching YouTube videos? Wow. Uh, maybe you're just uh, ordering one online, that's fine. Although if you order one online today, even though the sales for online purchases of the iPad 2 started at 1 a.m., uh, there already is, at, you know, at midday, there is already a two to three week waiting period uh, for a new iPad shipping. So, oof, I feel sorry for you. Uh, iPad, what do you think? You want to pick up a previous gen? You getting an iPad 2? Or are you just skipping the whole rigmarole and going with an alternative? Still have yet to find a, a, an amazing Android tablet out there. Looking very much forward to the HP touchpad that is likely another device that uh, I'm going to welcome into my home uh, when they in a, uh, inevitably release it. And uh, you know, just let me know your thoughts. Well, I will see you live here, hopefully, at the end of the day. You know where to find me, at Chris Perillo on Twitter, facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. We also have facebook.com slash LockerGnome and at LockerGnome on Twitter for the greater part of the community. LockerGnome.net, asking questions, giving answers. You can be a part of that, too. And then, of course, the, uh, the YouTube channel and the chat room. We're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.